Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. Welcome back. And y'all already know for what. A quick little video. Y'all, we are going to be discussing no other than Liv the Stallion, Peppa. Oh yeah, we're going to be discussing her. Now, Olivia, 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 where do I even start, my dear? <laughs> Girl. You're stupid. When I tell you. You're stupid. That your whole entire being and life is a, such a whirlwind. When I tell you that you are complete embarrassing. All right. When I think and I say, you know what, Olivia is not going to do nothing else, okay? Olivia is going to lay low and Olivia is going to play it slow. Absolutely not. You come back up on your platform and you do something worse. Now, Olivia, you and Christy, y'all seem to have a love and hate relationship. But again, strong mind me, Christy, that is your fault. Absolutely, Chrissy. Um, Ming, that is your fault as well. Now, the reason why I'm saying this, y'all going to say, Reed, what are you even talking about? Why are you saying that it is Christy and Ming's fault, the reason why she keeps trying to get into the, 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 the box with them? What I mean is that if when y'all would have got Olivia all right, when y'all went to Houston for the Mamiana, and that's basically where she says she did coke. Olivia, you did coke? Sure did. Olivia, you did coke? Sure did. Yeah, uh-huh, that one. Chrissy, listen, if you would have slapped the taste out of her mouth, followed by a slap, I don't care if Jasmine had picked you up. <laughs> if Jasmine had to pick both of y'all up on each arm, because y'all know Jasmine, Jasmine looked like she could lift a house. I ain't even going to lie to you, okay? I might see Jasmine, okay? You know how Olivia be like, if they was here, they wouldn't even say nothing to my face or whatever if they was here. No, Jasmine, I would have to Jasmine up a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? Because Jasmine looked like she's strong, okay? Jasmine looked like a little Hercule, okay? That's exactly what Jasmine looked like. I'm trying to tell y'all. Look at her, okay? The girl was running around with trash bags on and sweating it all out like it wasn't no problem. I would have passed out my ass you fat. I'm sorry it is what it is. Okay? Jasmine, you could have put Ming on one arm and Chrissy on the other, and you could have boosted them up to Olivia and Maine take the right slap and then Chrissy take the uh, left slap. None of this was going on. So the way that Olivia is acting, I fault you for it. Okay. I fault Chrissy, I fault Maine for it, and I fault um <laughs> Nisi. Mm -hmm. Nisi, yes, you should have been beat the brakes off of her. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I would have. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, I had some people and cousins, little cousins in my family, whatever. And once in a while, I got to go out and I got to act a fool and put them back into their place. Okay. It's once in a while. Okay. It's not that once in a while. I have to do that. Okay. A lot of times, see the people on YouTube, because see people on YouTube, they do what they want to do to say what they want to say, because you know that they not going to see you face to face. I'm going to leave it at that. So anyway, you went and you was throwing shade at Chrissy. That is what you were doing. Absolutely. So y'all already know that every single time that Olivia feels that she needs some type of attention because her views are going down, what does Olivia do? She goes and she starts things with Chrissy and then Ming jumps in it. Now y'all already know I'm not even going to bore y'all with everything. You get what I'm saying? Because I already know that y'all have seen the community post that Chrissy put up. I'll put it in here. All right. Now, Olivia decided to say, and y'all, she is actually talking to Ming. 
And these are Ming's responses. So, Olivia, the thing with you, what I just don't understand is that in your mind, you think that you can drag. And Olivia, you cannot. Out of all of the mommies, right now, at this present point, you are looking the worst. Okay, don't get me wrong, Jasmine and Chrissy are as well, but you are number one on the chopping block. Now, what I don't understand is you said something about Chrissy's rank being fake or whatever, um, and Chrissy said it is absolutely uh, real. And, and you know, I, I kick it to y'all, I tell y'all the truth. I don't think it's real leave. I think it's fake too, Olivia. So I will agree with you on that one. Moving on. But you seem to, again, want to agitate her for the views and stuff like that. Now, everything that you have tried to throw at Chrissy and make her feel less of a parent, it didn't work. So y'all, let's go through it and break it down. So Olivia said that Chrissy mm -hmm, deals with guys that she would never ever even think about dealing with. Now, you dealt with Brandon and Brandon was an absolute clown. You dealt with Maurice and, and, and we don't know too much about that. Then you dealt with Zolo. When you met Zolo, Zolo was a complete homeless guy living on Skid Row. <laughs> when you met him, you, you didn't know anything about him and you brung him to your home. You didn't know about his medical history. You didn't know about his background. You didn't know anything about him. But when it all started to trickle down, it made you look stupid. Now, again, no one cares if you want to show the baby. But what I will say is that baby hairline, uh-huh, baby, that baby hairline is Zolo times 20. All right, from what I seen in that picture, all right, when you had it in the carrier and, and you got caught and somebody got it and posted it and you tried to get them to take it down and they knew their YouTube rights and everything and they told you they wasn't doing it. Uh-huh, they was the boss being a boss like you say you the boss and you not the boss. All right, so you said Chrissy had, you know, multiple baby daddies. Now, you have another baby daddy it might not be seven but you've got another baby daddy okay next when chrissy got engaged with a ring what did you do you decided to go to amazon and come back on here and tell us your boyfriend that was the cop slash going into the army had gave you a promise ring Again, are you getting what I am getting, Olivia? All right, because you, deep down inside, you love Chrissy. You love Chrissy to death. You go to sleep wake, um, thinking about Chrissy, and you wake up thinking about Chrissy. When you go in the bathroom, you probably got Chrissy's name wrote all over the bathroom, mirror in red, bright lipstick with squigglies underneath of it. Uh-huh, absolutely, okay? So then you, you know that was the ring. All right. Then what did you do? You came on here and then you decided to talk about Ming. All right. I have no idea, o Olivia, why you decide to go back and forth every time you do. She drags you for filth. Okay. You wanted to go back and forth with her, but you were renting iPads. I didn't even know, y'all, that you could even rent an iPad. Uh-huh. And Ming told it. Sure did. All right. Then what you did was, because you knew that Ming 
felt some type of way because she said her edges had came out a little. And then you came up on your platform, you open up those Botox lips, and, and, and you said, now my hair is starting to fall out. Yeah. You had a lot to say about Chrissy not having one of her kids. And then it turns around and you not only have one kid taken away like Chrissy, but all three of your kids have been taken away. Olivia, again, you don't come out on top on YouTube at all. No, something's got to give. All right, when it comes to you, something is got to give. We can look at you and we can tell from a mile away that you are going through it. You were in the bathroom, absolutely, with your sister and your sister was cutting your hair. Now, what Olivia tried to do, y'all, was Olivia tried to make like this was a bonding experience. But no, it was not a bonding experience. What it was was a broke bitch moment slash trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents hard time. Absolutely. When you come on here and you apologize, over and what and, and you know to your loyalty gang or whatever you have no loyalty to your t gang none you talk to your subscribers as if you are talking to someone out on the street that you do not like and a lot of them they pay for memberships and they sit right down there in the chat and they let you say whatever you want to say uh-huh. Just like Olivia, you tried to go on over there to uh, OnlyFans and see, it didn't work out really well, okay? See, when you are a devil, uh-huh, as you are, mm -hmm, stuff don't really go well for you. And everything that I've seen from last year and this year coming in, yeah, it's not working out for you. It's not working out for you at all. You come on. You still look like you're drunk. You look like you're smoking pounds and pounds of weed. I mean, you always tired, huffing and puffing and hyperventilating. I don't know what's wrong with you. And then what gets me is every single time we see you come onto this camera, you are putting something in your mouth. Every single time you are putting something in your mouth. Uh-huh. You ain't even um embarrassed about it. You are putting something in your mouth all the time. Now, you say that, you know, you have came so far and everything and you've changed. No. What happened, Olivia, is the reason why you stopped coming here and popping off and everything. No, you didn't change. What changed you is the judge. Uh-huh. When... You, you, you know, when uh, Gerard went and got that uh, lawyer and put him on you real, real quick, that is when you started to change. That is when you started to realize, like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't be saying certain stuff on the Internet. That's why. Mm -hmm. Every day you get up, it has got to be the hardest thing for you to do every day. If you did not have that baby that you have right now, oh, uh, you would be going through it. Because, see, Olivia has to have, you know what I mean, a baby to take care of now because the father has those. So she feels like she's less of a woman. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You and your self-proclaimed best friend uh, took in. Y'all make y'all self look so stupid on YouTube. It ain't even funny. Like, I done seen Jasmine look stupid for over a year. All right? It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. I don't even know what to say. I'm like, damn, is this girl ever going to learn? What's going to happen? I mean, wh what? And then what gets me, Olivia, people in your comments ask you to give them some, you know what I mean, um, exp uh, uh, encouraging words on um, merch. Like, why would y'all ask her? Look at her merch. It's gone down 
the drain. I mean, it is absolutely gone. Okay, Olivia, I'm going to go ahead and slide on up off of here. But what I would say, Olivia, is, you know, stop with the Instagram posts and stuff like that when you call yourself talk to, you know, one of the other mommies or whatever. Because every single time, Olivia, I'm telling you from looking in, you make yourself look stupid. Okay, I'm just trying to help you out. All right. That's all I'm trying to do. Okay. With that being said, y'all, I'm going to see all of you beautiful people and what the next video later.